We are going to be crafting with some awesome Dollar Tree items today for some outdoor DIYs, but I'm going to be taking you a little bit out of your comfort zone as well as we're heading into the hardware store to grab some inexpensive pavers. Why pavers? Because they are actually at a really great price point as well for these DIYs. Before we get started, I want to say hello and welcome. My name is Shannon from the DailyDIYer.com. Now let's dive into this very first project, hanging into Dollar Tree. In the Dollar Tree Plus section, you can find these great miniature stools. They're only $5 each. Great price and bargain. We're going to use that along with one of these round pavers you can find for under $2 at the hardware store. We're going to mesh these two together. I have a couple different ideas for you. Basically, the idea here is to just take your stool, my little honey back there, she's gonna be helping us with these first couple projects. She is a mama's girl and she is just in a lot of shots. Good thing she's cute, right? So anyway, we're gonna take our paver and we're just gonna set that right on top of our stool. And we have an instant side table slash plant stand. Now, highly recommend going ahead, wiping off your paver once you either purchase it or get it in place so that way you disinfect it, get all the dust, the dirt off so you can clean it up. You can also add some construction adhesive onto your stool before you place your paver on top for a permanent fix. Here she is. She just has to be in the shot. She's so cute though. But here's a look at what it looks like just as a little plant stand. But you can also add things like a plant, a candle, a coaster, and also turn this into a really quick and easy side table. I feel like side tables can get extremely pricey. I'm not sure what it is about outdoor furniture. It doesn't matter where you go. It just seems like they are just so pricey anymore. This one only cost us $7. The weight of the paver on top is going to keep it heavy, weighted down, so it's not going to fly away. The perfect height. I love it. Great mobile, so you can move it around, put it inside even if you wanted to. And I'm pretty sure Honey approves too. <laughs> so next up is a DIY bench. Now I made this DIY, this tutorial, probably three years ago now. And it is basically gonna be the basis of this next project using the pavers. And I don't wanna recreate this tutorial as I already have one on it. So if you wanna see how to make this bench, I will link that video down in the description box below. But just to give you a quick overview, it's basically two by fours built into rectangles that we then attached onto a two by 12 to create this simple and inexpensive bench. And like I said, I will put the full tutorial link down in the description box below. We made these for our wedding. We actually made eight of these. So it was a quick, easy way to create seating for our guests. And then we gave them as gifts to all of our guests and our family as their little favor, I guess you could say. And we've had ours for obviously three plus years now and used it inside at a little runner on the bottom and painted it white. And now we're going to use it outside. So we've added just four pavers onto the top of this. That's going to give it some weight for outside. It's going to protect it a little bit more. And you can use this obviously as a bench, but you could also use this as a plant stand too. Now, if you're going to use it as a bench, I would highly recommend sanding down the edges as the pavers come with lots of like sharp edges and little pieces sticking out. This is a sanding block or a sanding stone that you can get at Dollar Tree. I know, right? So grab one of these next time you're there in the hardware section. They come in handy and it works perfect for grinding down those edges on these pavers. Just wipe it off with a cloth and then you're good to go for an outdoor bench. And as you can see, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you guys have to let me know if your pets have weird items they love to play with. Honey found this old plastic pot in my potting station and it is now hers. She loves it so much. Um, but another great DIY project, add some pillows to it. If you want to dress it up, add some plants to it. If you want to use it as a plant stand again, so cute, simple, quick and easy. And I love the paver addition to this piece. Now remember this round paver we used earlier, we're gonna bring that back and we're gonna pair it with several of these crescent shaped pavers. 
and I have so many ideas for these too. But this first one is quick and easy. You just take the crescent pavers and put it around the larger round paver to create a really simple flower. Now I'm giving you the basic idea here and I want you guys to take your imagination and run with it. You can obviously dig out the ground, set these in so they're flush with the ground, but then you could mosaic these with some tiles. You could paint them. You could do so many different things with these. So if you guys have ideas of what you would do with this flower paver, let me know down in the comments below. We're gonna grab out another one of these crescent pavers and we're gonna flip it so that the points are facing you and we're gonna make the cutest little ladybug using some outdoor paint. So yes, you could use acrylic paint if you want, but this is what I call patio paint. I get it on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're interested. It is made to withstand the weather and it is made to grab on to masonry like this so much better. So it's going to hold up a lot longer in the long run. So if you want to check that out, like I said, I'll link the paint down in the description box below. To make this ladybug, we're going to use a foam paintbrush and we're going to paint the entire thing red. And then we got to start working on our ladybug details. So we're going to add a half a circle shape at the bottom in the center, a line down the center and adding some small little circles on each side with a smaller paintbrush. So you want to make sure you are letting your paint colors dry in between each color. And once it's completely dry, then you're going to come in with some white paint, give him some antenna, give him some eyeballs and a little smile. And he just obviously it comes to life just like that. Don't forget some little black dots for his eyeballs and then you can add it to your garden. This was so quick and easy. It was super fun to do and these pavers are only like 69 cents so really affordable as well. This was obviously a great project for an adult but also for kids too which brings me to my next DIY with this crescent paver. My son wanted to make one too so I set him up with some more paint and gave him some paintbrushes and he wanted to make a watermelon. So he put some darker green paint around the top edge and then we mixed together these two colors. Um, a darker pink and a lighter pink. The darker one, he just didn't like. It was just too dark for him. So we mixed in a little bit of light pink with it and got a lighter tone, which he was happier with. And he just took his foam paintbrush, painted in the top but left the edge green and then the front where the crescent kind of chomp out <laughs> part of the crescent is and painted that all pink. He also came in with some lighter green paint and made some little straight lines around the outside edge to get our watermelon rind effect. He did such a good job with this and had a lot of fun. Once we let the pink and the greens dry, then he came in with a little tiny paintbrush and some black paint and made the little seeds for the watermelon, just making small little dashes with the paintbrush. Don't forget to get them around that outside edge where you painted pink too. We got some little seeds we need to put in there as well. So here it is. He's so excited to add it to his garden. Yes, he has his own little vegetable herb garden outside, but I decided to throw the throw this one in with my zinnias because it just made it pop just to show you what this looks like in the end. But this does live in his garden now forever. But what a cute, simple DIY you could do with the family. So remember back in the beginning of the video, I showed you some bricks that we're going to be crafting with. I have lots of ideas with these too. I love them because they're only 83 cents and you can find them year round in the concrete section at Home Depot, probably at most hardware stores too. We're going to pair them with some Dollar Tree LED tea lights. You're going to need three of them. Why three? Well, because there's three holes on our brick. So we're actually going to tilt this and we're going to stand it up on the shorter end so it's tall. And then we're going to insert these tea lights one in each one of those holes quick and easy instant luminary how fun is that it's heavy so it's not going to fall over the tea lights kind of fit in there snugly so they shouldn't go flying out either i'm so sorry i wish i would have taken a video of this at night so you could see it but now you'll have to try it yourself so you can see what it looks like in the evening time too Here's another brick idea. We're going to grab one of these silver trays from Dollar Tree and obviously one of these bricks. I wasn't a fan of the shiny silver, so we're going to take our tray outside, grab some matte black spray paint and gave it a couple coats. Let it dry. It was a nice warm day, so this took no time at all. 
brought it inside and you can see here I even flipped it over to the other side to make sure I got that bottom rim because you can kind of see it once it's sitting up and then we're going to take our brick set it right down flat in the center of our tray now we're going to grab out some sand you can find this a dollar tree too and just kind of fill up those holes you want to fill it up pretty much to the top but leave a little bit of room because we're going to be inserting some candles in there and you need room for that so I grabbed these emergency candles from Dollar Tree comes with a pack of six you could also do LED battery power candles I like these because they actually have a remote control too I'll link them down in the description box below but let's go ahead and use these Dollar Tree candles to show you what this looks like you just stick them right down into the sand and then the wicks on these candles are pretty long and probably not the most safe so I came in with some scissors trimmed the wicks down and then lit the candles obviously great for outdoors especially if you could find some citronella candles to keep the bugs away that would kind of do double duty here but it is super pretty I just think it's kind of a nice outdoor accessory obviously so inexpensive and I also wanted to show you one more DIY with this idea so next up I grabbed some succulents from the Dollar Tree and I'm just taking them and sticking them right down into the sand to get a nice little centerpiece now you could also do this with live succulents too you just want to replace the sand with some succulent soil so that way they can grow and stay healthy and last a long time Did you know you can add permanent vinyl to pavers too? I've been doing it for a long time. I love these to give as gifts because they are just a nice personalized and expensive project that also can mean a lot too. So I found this design in the Cricut design space and just pulled it up in my Cricut program and personalized it, cut it out with some uh, Oracle 651 matte black vinyl. I'll link that down below too. This is great for pavers because it's commercial grade and it's going to last and hold up through the weather. We're applying this decal the same way you would any other decal, just adding some uh, transfer tape to the top of the decal and then transferring the design onto the concrete now make sure your paver is really really dry when you do this and also as clean as you can get it and you're still gonna have to take your time applying it on there as some of the granules get into the pits of the concrete but if you take your time and go slow you can get a really nice transfer and as you can see you can get something that looks really really nice you can put it next to your front door out on a patio on with a cornerstone or something in your yard so a great little DIY get creative with this idea now this idea is old and I'm talking goes back probably eight years of a DIY with my channel but you can use this project with these 25 cent bricks that you can get from the hardware store and I love this idea because it's perfect for kids it takes no time at all it's an outdoor item you can keep and save out there and all you do is put little lines along the bricks to create little roads for their cars you could also see in the last shot you can add numbers to pavers to create a hopscotch or a fun counting game so keep these ideas on in mind if you need some fun projects for your outdoors let me know which one of these projects was your favorite down in the comments below hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't yet please subscribe thanks so much for joining me today and i'll see you in the next one have a creative day